our first uh, speakers uh, are researchers at Sony CSL, Peter Hanap, I hope I don't mean mispronounce your name too much, and David Carlio. So I give you the remote control for you to navigate in your presentation, and I would like you to talk about your robotics project in your lab. Right, yes, good evening. We uh, came uh, here to introduce ourselves, but we were very modest, but it's a uh, uh, happening of a m bigger magnitude than we, than we thought, so congratulations for this. So a few words on the Sony CSL. We are a research lab uh, which uh, depends from Sony Corporation, but we have a high level of independence. Uh, we work like an academic uh, lab. Uh, David and myself are the only one working on the topic that we're going to present tonight. Since this summer, we've started working on a robot project for WeDuck. So uh, we have reached the stage of NIO five years ago. So we are not as advanced. And in the first step, we interested in micro farms. Uh, so it's about 100 square meters uh, to a few hectares with polyculture. Most of the time, those are permaculture farms. I took a picture of uh, the Mekat farm, which is probably one of the best uh, best known. And you can see that there are four different crops on a plot. We're interested in those type of farms because it creates new challenges. Those are more open environment with less structure. So uh, it's interested for or uh, um, artificial intelligence devices because we can learn a lot from those environments. We'd like to work with open hardware because for small farms or micro farms, the uh, test platforms as well, it does make sense to use open hardware. And I think that the software side of things is probably the part where it is more complex. So starting next year, we'd like to uh, launch uh, um, workshops in order to develop a test platform. For the presentation of our work, I'm going to give the floor to my colleague David Collier. Good evening. So I'm going to present very quickly the prototype as it stands uh, today. It is based uh, on standard uh, items to uh, begin with, with a uh, SNC uh, machine. So this is the uh, e-card, which is uh, an open hardware. And then um, a number of items, which are pretty standard in hardware, and cameras as well. It has a modular design in order to be both autonomous but also provide for additional tool interaction. So this is what we're developing at the moment. The prototype, as you can see here, uh, is made of engineered wood, but in the future it will be in metal so that, of course, uh, it can weather uh, the external temperatures. And uh, we would like uh, to uh, integrate uh, the uh, software components in ROS2. Uh, so it's a framework uh, through which we could also interact with other projects. So it is dedicated to mechanical weeding on salad plots that uh, we have uh, in the city center of Paris. So you can imagine that it's not a big plot. We do not have much, um, much room to experiment. However, we measure the uh, X green index on those uh, pictures. And we have defined a threshold on the histogram through which uh, we can categorize uh, the picture so we can make a distinction between uh, the earth, the mud, and uh, the uh, and the salads. And so we know where the salads are, where the salads are, and the robot can navigate around the salads and not crush them when they weed. So you have a picture here where you see uh, Peter's office. And this is uh, how the uh, pictures uh, are 
dealt with. So this is the calculation of uh, the pathway that the machine is going to follow and uh, the uh, weeding. So it's an image, uh, uh, image analysis based uh, weeding. You can see that on the arm of a robot you have a camera through which you get uh, color information but also depth information through which we can estimate the shape of the uh, salad and also uh, we would like to further develop the analysis, the image analysis in order to do phenotyping and through phenotyping uh, have information on the health of the salads and also make estimates on their growth. So those are the news that we'd like to explore the use of that machine for phenotyping and uh, we've also tried to explore what we could do in terms of intelligent uh, artificial intelligence. We have a database with 100 photos of carrots of beetroots and we are able to uh, make a distinction between those different uh, species and we'd like to further sophisticate that device in order to make a distinction between uh, a plant and um, wheat. So this is the contents of my presentation. Uh, please do not hesitate to get in contact with us and do not hesitate as well to uh, visit our website to get more information on the design or operation of the robot. Thank you.